drawing in the style of Hundrewasser. And to do this drawing, first we're going to set up a village or a street or a row of houses. So you want to start out with the horizon line and decide what you want above and below and where you want your houses to be. So I think I'm going to have a river that goes in the foreground on the bottom. Remember foreground is closest to the bottom of the paper. I'm going to have a row of houses that goes behind. So I'm going to start with some geometric shapes like squares and rectangles for my houses. And I'll add some rooftops by using triangles. to add some hills in the background by using some more curved lines, some organic shaped hills. Notice I'm keeping these very, very simple and they are not very realistic looking. I'm doing this so that I can have lots of geometric shapes to fill in. some more organic shoots like trees and bushes. Now that I've drawn my row of houses from my little village, I'm ready to start using marker to fill in the space. Now, I'm not going to color a whole area one color. I'm going to be going line by line with alternating colors. I have all the classic colors here, but I'm also going to be using some pastel markers to alternate some of those colors. done the sky, the grass, and the water, mostly cool colors. I'm going to go in with mostly warm colors in the center for the houses to make that a focal point.
When you're finished filling your entire sheet in, you wanna go back and double check for any areas that maybe you might've missed and left a white area. Also, make sure that you're coloring all the way to each of your edges so you don't have any messy white marks. When you're done, you've completed your Hunter Foster contour and repetition line drawing. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like.